All right, set up to scrape paint off the house. Um, there is some layers of lead paint under here, so um, I've got plastic on the ground. We're using a HEPA vacuum attached to a Pro Scraper tool. And this first pass, I'm just scraping basically what's loose. Um, and you can see I've already started on the bottom edge here. Um, most of that I pulled off by hand. Uh, it just comes off in big sheets. As we get up here, it's much more well attached. Um, so really won't be pulling off much for most of what I can reach from the ground. But just trying to get everything loose, taken off and kind of smoothed out. So I've scraped the right side here, right of the window, up to about head height, which is about the middle mutton bar, the meeting bar, whatever, on that window. Um, you know, you can see there's not a lot coming off. Mostly it was all peeling at the bottom. Um, this corner board is peeling a bit. Um, this corner trim has been replaced not too long ago. That's just like a finger jointed pre-primed pine with barely one coat of paint on it. Um, what I'm finding, and this may be part of the problem why um, we're having so much moisture in the wall, is, let's see if I can get in here. So I'm scraping the underside of these clapboards here, scraping the underside of these clapboards here, um, and basically this corner is, on some of these, is almost a quarter inch thick with caulk. I think it's caulk. Um, I think you can see, well I don't know if you can, but a lot of these, it's like a rounded edge all filled in. Um, so I'm scraping that out trying to get to a square edge if I can. I've done what I can on this side of the window. I'm gonna move over to this side of the window from the bulkhead up. Um, I'm gonna move my plastic over a bit. I'm basically just doing what I can from the ground. I have a lift coming in a couple weeks. Um, so anything above head height I'll do from the lift. That'll just make it easier, but I figure I might as well get a head start on what I can. I took the week off of work to paint the house, or as much of it as I can do. I've got this lift for the week. Uh, it's a 55 foot, which will be more than enough. Um, and that'll, I'm gonna basically use that to do, you know, the, the gable ends and the second floor as much as I can. Uh, I'm going to start on the two ends and maybe get to the front if I have time, but I've got a lot of work to do before I get there, scraping and sanding and priming and all that. So we'll see what I can get done in a week. They say I actually have about six days um, before I have to go back to work. So let's uh, get this thing leveled and set up and we'll see what we can do. of the outriggers to get it to level um, but all the lights are on now so I think we're ready to raise the boom and uh, see how this works it's hard to see with the Sun but you can see all these lights are solid and auto level is solid that means this thing is leveled out um, I did have to manually uh, move this right rear boom in a little bit to get it to level out but um, 
everything is leveled. So I guess we move the key to the right, and then we'll, we're gonna be able to move the basket um, with all these controls here. That is the same as what's in the basket. So I gotta get these locks off. There's one here and one over there. That's for towing so it doesn't bounce around. Um, and then we'll go for a ride. Got my ground protection installed. It's plastic sheeting. Um, so that all, you know, any chips that fall from up there land on the plastic and don't get in the garden. And then we'll just wrap this all up. Um, I've got all my tools that I need for now. I've got the vacuum, scraper, sander, everything in the basket, caulking, music. Um, unfortunately, the power in the basket doesn't seem to work. So I've got an extension cord, you know, just tied on there. Um, but I think we're ready to, I think we're ready to go up and start scraping. I'm basically just gonna start from the very top, work my way down. The first thing I'm gonna run into is that uh, left window in the attic does not have a drip cap. So I'm gonna have to peel the old caulking out of there and get that drip cap uh, installed. It doesn't look like the trim needs to be replaced, so that's good. Um, and my hope is that I can basically get down to these second floor windows without any, without any uh, trim work. Alright, I've been scraping up here for just a you know, half an hour or so. Um, this clapboard is completely gone. And basically this entire vent is also gone. The, you can see, I actually, this vacuumed out. Um, the vacuum pulled all this out, so that's not good. Drip cap is gone. This piece has been replaced before, so that's okay, but that's it. Um, this side piece, this side trim is all rotten. The sill is all rotten. Is rot down at the bottom of this. This whole thing is like barely attached to the house. Um, so I got to look on the inside and see how this thing is built. I don't know if it's going to be worth replacing this trim or if it's going to be better just to replace the entire vent. Almost guarantee I'll do the trim because the vent's not going to be the a standard size, and I don't want to reframe this whole thing. So, quite a bit of work to do up here. Here I am at the attic windows. You can see this one does not have a drip cap at all. It's just got a bunch of like caulking that's just falling out. It's disgusting. So I gotta pry all that out of there. Um, the trim, I don't know, trim might actually be okay. The whole thing is moving. It's not very well attached. I'm wondering actually if that's the whole wall is actually moving. I gotta check that out on the inside. Um, this window, I'm not doing windows right now, but the glazing is completely gone. Here, here, here. So the window needs a lot of work. This other one, same thing. Drip cap is completely gone. I mean, it's still there, but it's all rotten. Um, but the trim actually looks like it's in okay shape. So. Oh. There's a lot more work up here than I was expecting, but that's what we're here for. Well, some progress today. I spent maybe four hours total. Um, I've got it basically scraped down that right window about halfway. Got this rake board scraped. I spent a bunch of time looking at rotten trim and figuring out what I need to buy so that I can 
uh, replace it and proceed. So I think I'm going to call it quits for today. This is by far the worst area of rot I've seen so far. Um, I'm up here in the attic window. Um, I pulled the trim off and this behind it is just, I mean, A, it's soaking wet. It hasn't rained in days and this is soaking wet. Um, I mean, and you can see it's just totally eaten up. I haven't seen any bugs or anything, but you can actually, that's, my hand is inside the attic right now. Um, looks like that sheathing board is okay. That one's okay. It's just this one right above the window. And I'm trying to see up in here. It seems like it's gonna, I don't know. I might have to go on the inside and check this out too. Um, but this obviously needs some, needs some attention. I can't tell what this is. I think this is a, yes, this is a sheathing board. And right behind it, let me break this off. So that's sheathing. You can see some bugs and grubs in there. That's good stuff. This is a two by four that I've used to frame out the window. Um, so, and I was hoping I may have to take this piece of clapboard off or at least pry it up a little bit and see what's going on in there. I got the gable vent out as a unit. Um, I'm gonna replace the trim basically on the vent and put it back in. But um, the other thing I'm gonna do, this sheathing here is pretty soft. Um, and it's just, there's nothing holding this because they cut out this, they cut out this support member here. Um, so I think I'm gonna frame, like two by four frame a, a box on the inside that'll kind of hold this opening in place. And then I will be able to put this back on the outside. I also pulled off, there were two claps here that were all rotten, so um, pulled those off. I gotta remake those. I think all the rest are good. Progress day two. I've got uh, everything scraped down to the bottom of the attic windows. So I'm going to, tomorrow morning, I'm going to sand all that and then try to get some primer on it tomorrow. Um, and then while the primer's drying, I can move on to lower down the wall. Um, you can also see a giant hole where the gable vent goes. Um, that gable vent needs to be rebuilt. Um, so I'm going to do it on the ground and then put it up there as a unit. Um, I also got some of this rake trim installed. Uh, this is going to be a two-piece detail. Um, basically it's that, it's a narrow one by four that I've ripped down. And there's going to be a base cap molding applied to that as well. Um, I don't have that molding yet, but I'll get that tomorrow. It's not going to match exactly what's there. Um, but from the peak over to the left side, that's already been done in the same way. So it'll really just be this right side down here. Um, that'll be different. And you can't tell the difference from the ground. It all looks the same from the ground. I spent quite a while rebuilding the top trim, top casing on that left window and the drip cap on both windows. But that's done. I think all my carpentry is done except for that, that vent, which I'm going to try to work on tonight. So it's ready to go in tomorrow. Um, overall, I, I think, I don't know, it, I'm making progress, so that's good. It just feels a lot slower than I was expecting. Um, I've got the 
the lift basically for six days and I've already spent two days and I barely have anything to show for it. So it's a little frustrating, but I just think how much slower I'd be going if I was working on a ladder. So the lift is for sure helpful. I ended up deciding to uh, just rebuild this, um, this gable vent and I can, you can see here, I actually built a new sill, kind of like how I did with that other window. Um, use the same material, cedar. Um, the old sill, it's all just destroyed. There was actually ants in here when I pulled it out. Um, so that's, that's all new, got that in. And next thing, I'm going to basically assemble my trim as a picture frame and then screw it right to here. There's not a lot of meat left. Some of this is pretty rotten, but I got to work with it. This is the trim. I just used our Craig Jig kit to uh, make a couple pocket holes on each of the verticals, and they're screwed into the headpiece. This is the back, obviously. That's gonna sit on there, something like that. Now that it's all put together, the trim is put together, I need to fasten it to the actual vent and then we can uh, put it up on the house. Not sure how well it's gonna look on camera because the sun's kind of right in my eyes but um, I got the gable vent installed came out okay um, and I've just put I primed and painted basically from the peak down to the bottom of the gable vent I just kind of wanted to see how my process was gonna look once it's all done um, this paints still wet this is only the first coat so yeah, you can see where you know it was bare wood underneath the primer i'm using is actually clear um i could tint it but i figured it'll be fine i gotta do two coats and it looks like with two coats it's gonna cover really well anyways so um this here is the same prep i sanded everything but it's still you know i can feel the edges it's not super smooth but frankly i think it's gonna be okay because it looks good and you know you can tell up close that it's not super even but you know what it's an old house of course it doesn't have even paint um it's not brand new i think it's gonna be just fine so we'll let this dry maybe i'll throw a second coat on it later tonight it needs about an hour um and then we'll see how it looks especially from the ground all right end of day two i've got good progress today um, the peak down to the bottom of the gable vent is painted. Uh, I don't know if you can see in the video, it is a little creamier than what's on there. We're using, um, Benjamin Moore White Dove. Um, I like it. I like how it's not quite so stark. Um, and then from the bottom of the gable vent to the bottom of the attic windows, it's primed. Uh, it's a clear primer We're using uh, Mad Dog Dura Prime. Goes on kind of minty green and then dries basically clear. Um, and that will help get a good bond more than anything. So tomorrow I'm going to paint down to the bottom of the attic windows want to get two coats on that and then I'm going to move the lift to the other side of the house. I'll return to the rest of this later. I can do this from a ladder a little easier than that way up there. I've moved the lift over to the other gable end. Um, there's some challenges over here. First off, <laughs> it's got a pretty good slope so you can see the back 
is basically just sitting on the ground. And this front left outrigger, front right I guess, whatever, but is uh, is down pretty far. But it just leveled out. Sensors all said it's okay. Um, so that's good. I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit and just kind of relax. Uh, and the other challenge, let's see if we can see that. All lights are green there. The other challenge is that it's pretty narrow. So that one's right close to the foundation. And that one over there is pretty close to the edge. That's, I didn't want to put this whole thing back farther and have two of these legs really close to that edge. That's a little sketchy to me. But um, I, feel like, I feel like I'm okay with this. So my hope is that I'm going to be able to get up at least, I don't know if I'll be able to get up to the peak from here. Um, but we're going to try. See what I can do over here. Well, I think we're going to call it on this end. Um, I took a ride up in the basket. And while I might be able to get to the peak, well, I should be able to get to the peak, I won't be able to get much past the peak in terms of front to back. And so best case scenario, I could essentially do like the middle of the peak forward and down. And that's all right. But, you know, we're going to have to come up with a separate solution here anyway. Um, and in terms of looking the best as a finished product, you kind of want to paint, you know, you know, side to side, like the whole clapboard in one shot. So um, I think I'm not going to work on this end and we'll, we'll do this a different way or hire somebody. I'm not sure, but um, I guess I'm going to move the lift back to the other side and uh, we'll just keep working over there. Okay, end of day five, called in the, uh, the troops, my dad is here helping for the weekend. Um, we made good progress today, so I painted second coat up on the top, so the peak down to the bottom of the attic windows is completely done. Um, got that all finished. He spent the day scraping and sanding, so basically uh, above the Second floor windows is all scraped. To the left of this window is all sanded and everything. We just got to do between the windows and the right side. Um, you know, then work down. But And then I'm just about ready to put the trim back on this left window. I've got it on the right side there. I've got the trim replaced on this window. Um, I think we're going to be in good shape tomorrow to keep scraping and sanding these areas here and then possibly getting some, uh, some primer and maybe even a first coat of paint depending on how it goes. Oh yeah, I also got this, this little eave detail fixed, um, up on the corner there, so good progress. I basically have one more full day. I might be able to do some Monday night after I go home from work. Um, you know, maybe put a second coat on something, but for the most part, I think, I think that's pretty much it.
that was a long day. It's uh, it's almost seven o'clock. That's twelve hours today um, that me and my dad did. But it's looking really good. You can kind of see the difference in color just above the first floor windows. Um, we've got it stripped and sanded and primed and one coat of paint down to there. Um, I'm hoping when I get home from work tomorrow, I'm going to put a second coat of paint from basically the, the bottom of the attic windows to the top of the first floor windows. That all needs a second coat. And uh, then the lift goes back. So this is, uh, it's been a lot of work. But boy, is it looking good. It looks really, really good. Um, I'm very happy with it. All right. Spent uh, nearly five hours today scraping, sanding, priming, painting. And this end is almost done. I need to put a second coat from the top of the first floor windows down, but I think that looks pretty spectacular, especially considering what it looked like when we started. You can see I do have a little spot boop, right up there. Uh, and there's some trim I need to repair, um, so I do need to finish that corner, but uh, I was taking advantage of the good weather. <laughs> 